WFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. Uh, Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Del Rey Beach, Florida. This is your 2 p.m. update. And uh, currently a slightly mixed bag out here. Uh, the Dow is up 17. Uh, the New York Stock Exchange is up 7. And the rest of the indices are trading lower. The Dow, uh, not the Dow, but the S&P is down by 2. The NASDAQ is off 64. Russell, 14. That's a big percentage leader to the downside. You've got gold trading out at 1868.10. That's basically unchanged. Silver is down 17 pennies at 25.17. Lights recruited is up uh, off 27 pennies at 8054 natural gas up 19 cents uh, so commodities doing fairly well where we've got the US dollar index moving higher it's up by 27 ticks right now 9540 looks like it wants to continue to move higher that's just telling us about global capital having confidence inside the US let's go take a little time and look at our indice charts as we do during the 2 p.m. update we'll begin by take a look at the Dow Jones that's in your upper left hand corner what we see here is so far so what we know about the Dow the cash indice has a TD9 count top. So far today, all we've seen is a test and rejection of that oscillator and change line. That's printing at 36,217. If price were to close above 36,217, that would tell us that price is likely to go run back to those all-time highs. But right now, that is the resistance point. The S&P 500 on Friday closed above its oscillator and change line. It's basically trading on it right now at about the 4681 level. So a second close today above that is going to suggest we go back and we either tag, test, take out the all-time highs. Uh, it also has a TD9 count top. So price must close above that all-time high um, on that at a closing basis, the all-time high that it has hit. And that's in the case of the Dow, the S&P, and the NASDAQ 100. The NASDAQ 100 on Friday closed above its oscillator and change line. It is struggling right now. So if it closes back below it, it says that Friday's move was a false breakout, so to speak, a breakout, breakout above resistance. And then that will become uh, resistance again at 16,177. But that's going to be an end-of-day close. And if price closes above it, We'd have two consecutive days above Stevie's green line, suggest we move higher. The Russell 2000 has been holding that uh, oscillator and change line for the last three sessions. Right now it's below it at 2407. If it closed below, it suggests a further retracement. The semis have a TD9 count top. Price is traded up into that swing point out here. It remains above its oscillator and change line. It is in neutral condition at worst case out here. The transports not providing us with a ton of information. The spot politics below its 15 day, 50 day exponential moving average, which is 1766. That is bullish for the S&P 500 and the XAU moving slightly higher. If it takes out Friday's high at all, that could set up a TD9 count top between today and Wednesday. Folks, stay tuned for David White. I'll see you tomorrow morning, 8 o'clock sharp. Have a magical Monday, folks.